Hello children. Today I am here to teach you chapter 19 in your textbook. That's volume. In this lesson we are identifying what volume means. Identify the different units used to measure volume and the volume of a cube and a cubite. Look at these pictures. What are those? A brick. Dice. A stone. A statue, a ball and a log. What you call these? We can say objects. So all these are objects. So we need to have space to keep all these objects. So what is volume of an object means? The space occupied by an object. So we are talking about today about the space occupied by an object. That's called volume. So all these are 3D shapes, three dimensional shapes. For 3D shapes we can talk about volume. What about area? Area we talked about before that's about two dimensional objects, 2D figures. Today we are talking about 3D figures. What are the materials needed to build a wall? What are the materials you need? You need bricks. Cement. Sand. And what else? We need stones, so when you take all these materials from above materials, which materials got a definite shape? We can say bricks, we get a definite shape and stones. Even though there is no shape for sand and cement, when stored in containers, they take the shape of the container. So objects with definite shape are called solids. So we use the term here solids. Objects with definite shape are called solids. Shape of the solid depends on the outer surfaces of the object. So we need to think about what are the outer surfaces. What are the outer surfaces of a brick? So when you take a brick, we see rectangles and sides, it can be squares as well. Sometimes we see squares. What are the outer surfaces of a matchstick box? That's also like a you get rectangles mainly. What are the outer surfaces of a die? So you know a cube shape. So something like this. A die. Normally a square. You get squares. Look at these shapes. You already know. This is a 3D object. That means a solid. We say cube. What's the surface of one side? What's the surface here? You see? That's a square. So square surface is there. What's the surface in cuboid? What's the surface here? You get a rectangle. And pyramid, you get, what's the base there? Base is this. You get square base pyramid. If it's square base pyramid, this is a square. So, what you know about this cylinder? Cylinder, you get circle. Base is a circle. 
and what about corn? You get a circle as the base. Triangular prism. So you can take a triangle as the base. So a triangle as the base. So these are the solids. 3D figures. Cube, cuboid, pyramid, cylinder, cone, triangular prism. So all the above objects need space. The shape occupied by an object is the volume of the object. The below three diagrams show different arrangements of six bricks. So we'll take, take a look at that. So this way, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six bricks are there. Then same six bricks, we can arrange three and three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's another arrangement. This is another arrangement. So here, two, two, two. That's also six. You get six bricks. So what can you say about the volumes of three arrangements? So space occupied by this object is the same. So we can say in all three diagrams, the space occupied by six bricks is the same. So three arrangements, volumes are the same. Volumes of the objects are the same with different shapes because we took six bricks to get different arrangements. What are the units of volume? We'll take a cube with side length, one, one centimeter length, one centimeter width and one centimeter height cube. So when you take the cube, Here, what's the base? We are getting a square. So, when you take 1 into 1 into 1, we say 1 cubic centimeter. 1 centimeter into 1 centimeter, another 1 centimeter. 3 times we multiply. So, when you take a cube with Side length 1 centimeter, the space occupied by that cube, we say 1 cubic centimeter. That's the volume of this cube, 1 cubic centimeters. So, have you seen this type of cubes? Dice, soup cubes, Some you get 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter small cubes. So, what is cubic centimeter means? Volume of a cube with side length 1 centimeter is 1 cubic centimeter. To measure large volumes, we need another unit. So, you need to have an idea what is 1 cubic centimeter means. A cube with the space occupied by a cube with side length 1 centimeter. Now, think about a big one. A cube with side length 1 meter, 1 meter length, 1 meter width and 1 meter height. So what's the space occupied by this cube? That's the 1 cubic meter. That's called cubic meter. So above is a cube with side length 1 meter. You have seen cubic shaped water tanks. That's big ones, water tanks. So the volume is 1 cubic meter. So what is cubic meter means? Volume of a cube with side length 1 meter is 1 cubic meter. 
So we normally international system of units for volume we take cubic centimeters. Cubic centimeters also okay but if it's a big one we take one cubic meter. Look at this cuboid. Above is a cuboid with length 12. Normally we take the longer one as the length. Breadth 5 and height 3 centimeters. How many 1 cubic centimeter cubes can put inside along the length? So if we keep cubes 1 cubic centimeter cubes this way along the this one how many cubes you can take you get 12 cubes each with length 1 how many 1 cubic centimeter cubes can put inside along with this way what do you think how many you get 5 so when you take the base What's the total number of cubic centimeters can put in the base? 12 times 5. So we can fill 12 times 5. What's that? 60. 60 cubes on the base. Find the area of the rectangle at the base. That's the 12 times 5. So when you take area without considering total amount of 1 cubic centimeter cubes, you can take the area of the base. That's the rectangle base 12 times 5. That's also the same thing. So area of the base is 60 cubic centimeters. What can you say about the area of the base of the cuboid and the number of 1 cubic centimeters can put inside the base area? You got the same answer. 60 1 cubic centimeters, that's 60 cubic centimeter. Area of the base is also 60. So you got same answers for both. How many layers you can store? So now think about how many layers are there. So in this one, 3 centimeters. So we can put 3 layers. 1, 2, 3. Because 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter length. So we can put 3 layers. Total number of 1 cubic centimeter cubes. So in the base, 60. And 3 layers like that. 60 times 3. Altogether, 180 cubes we can put. Now we'll multiply the area of the base with height. We got base is 60 square centimeters. We made a mistake there. So we can put 60. area square centimeters. We'll take that one here. So 60 is the area of the base into 3 is the height. 60 times 3, 180 cubic centimeters. Now what can you say about the answer? If you want the volume of the cuboid, you can take the base area and multiply by height. Base area into height. Area of the cross section of the base multiplied by height, you get the volume. So here you can do with layers. First think about how many you can fix into the base and then how many layers are like that and you can find the area as well. So what is volume of cuboid? You can First find the area of the base. That means length into breadth. Then multiply by height. So volume of the cuboid is the multiplication of length, breadth and height. So we can use that formula. So in this cuboid, what's the volume? Length is 12. Breadth. 
breadth is 8. And height is 5 centimeters. So, what's the volume? 12 times 5, 60. 60 times 8. What's the unit? Cubic centimeters. 480 cubic centimeters. Find the volumes of the following cuboids. Now you can use the formula. So what's the formula? Length into breadth into height. Length is 10. Breadth is 8. Height is 6. The unit is cubic centimeters. 8 times 6, 48. 48 times 10, 480 cubic centimeters. Next one. 18 centimeter length, 5 centimeter breadth and 5 centimeter height. What's the volume? 18 times 5 times 5. That's cubic centimeters. We can multiply it by times 5, 25. 25 times 18, 10 and 8, 5, 2. 8 times 5, 40. 8 times 2, 16 plus 4, 20. 450 cubic centimeters are there. What's the volume of this one? 8 centimeter length, 5 centimeter breadth and 3 centimeter height. So 8, 5, 3. So when you multiply 8 times 5, 40, 40 times 3, unit is cubic centimeters. So you get 120 cubic centimeters. Next one. Length 20, breadth 12, height 5, multiply, 12 times 5, you get 60, so 20 times 60, what's the unit? This is cubic centimeters, 2 zeros and 6 times 2, 12,200 cubic centimeters is the volume of this cube. 5.3 length, breadth 4, 2 is the height. So 5.3, 4 and 2. So 4 times 2, 8. So 5.3 times 8 cubic centimeters. So what we can do? Ignore the decimal and multiply. 8 times 3, 24. 2 remaining. 8 times 5. 40, 40 plus 2, 42 and put a decimal point. So you get 42.4 cubic centimeters. Look at this one, 10, 10, 10. All sides are equal, what you call that? That's a cube. In the figure shows a cube with side length 10 centimeters. Find the volume of the cube. So same thing we can apply. Length is 10. And the length also 10. So you don't need to say length into width into height. You can say length, length, length because all are equal. So this is cubic centimeters. 1, 2, 3, thousand cubic centimeters are there. Find the volumes of the following cubes. Side length 11. 11 times 11 times 11. How do you multiply by 11? Do you know the trick? You take 1 and 1 to a side. Middle what you do? 1, you add these two. 1 and 1 becomes 2. 121. So 121 multiplied by 11 again. What you do? You take 1 and 1, these two separately, 
then you add 2 plus 1 becomes 3, 2 plus 1 becomes 3, 1331 cubic centimeters. I'll do a small another example, 35 times 11, how you multiply by 11? You take 3 and 5 to a side, first and the last digit and then 3 plus 5 you get a 385. So that's easy. When you want to multiply by 11, use that method. Now we'll take this one side length 12. So what's the length, length and length. So 12, 12 and 12. 12 times 12, 144. 144 times 12, what you get? 2 times 4, 8, 2 times 4, 8, 2 times 1, 2. Add it, 12, 7 and 1, 1728 cubic centimeters is the volume of that cube with side length 12. So this is a cuboid. If the length is L, breadth is B, height is H. So what can you write about the volume? L, B, H. So you can write L times B times H. Length, breadth, height is the volume. If it's a cube with side length L, what can you say about the volume? L into L into L. We can simplify and write L to the power 3 as well. Find the volume of a cube with side length 5. L into L into L. 5, 5, 5. 5 times 5, 25. 25 times 5, 125 cubic centimeters. Find the volume of a cube with side length 3.3, 3.3, 3.3, 3 .3. So multiply. We can do this. 3, 3, 3. So I can split 3 times 1.1. 1 .1. 3 times 1.1. 1 .1. And again 3.1.1. Because I know how to multiply by 11. Ignore the decimal. 3 times 3 times 3. 27. 11 times 11. 121. 121 times 11. 1, 1. 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1. 3, 3. So you get. 1331. Now, how many decimal places we need to keep? 1, 2, 3. So, 1.331. Now, we can just multiply this. 1331. Multiply by 27 first. 20 and 7. 0. Multiply by 2. And multiply by 7 now. 7 times 3, 21. 2 remaining. 7 times 3, 21 plus 2, 23. And 2 remaining. 7 times 1, 7 plus 2, 9. Add it together. Get this answer. Now you have to think about keeping 3 decimal places. So, what's the final answer? 35.937 cubic centimeters. Now, take a look at this one. You have given a cuboid. 1 meter length, 60 centimeter breadth and 40 centimeter height. What happens here? 
meters and centimeters. Now the units are different. When you get units different, what you do? You have to convert to the same units. So we'll convert one meter to centimeters. So how many centimeters are there? You have to multiply by 100. So 100 centimeter is the length now. Now we'll plug 100 there. 100 into 60 into 40. How many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 6 times 4, 24. So you get 240,000 cubic centimeters for the volume. Below is a cardboard box with length 1 meter, breadth 60 centimeters and 40 height. How many milk packets with length 20 centimeters, breadth 15 centimeters and height 10 centimeters can be stored in the box? So we will first look at along the length how many packets we can store. Number of packets can be stored along length. Now we know 1 meter means 100 centimeters. What's the length of the milk packet? 20 centimeters. So here 100 centimeter is the length of the cardboard box. So we can divide and see 100 divided by 20. 5 packets we can store along length. Number of packets can be stored along breadth? 60 centimeters. What's the breadth of this one? 15. Divide by 15 and see. 4. 4 packets along breadth. Number of packets can be stored along height? 40 centimeters here. What's the height of the packet? 10 centimeters. Divide by 10. So you can store 4. So what's the total number of packets? 5 times 4. That's the base area. And 4 layers like that. Multiply. 5 times 4, 20. 20 times 4, 80. So 80 packets you can store in this box. A trailer truck is with length 3 meters, breadth 2 meters and height 1 meter. How many cement blocks with length 30, breadth 20 and height 10 can be stored in this truck? So we can do the same thing as before. Along length we find how many cement blocks you can store. Along breadth and the height. Then we multiply. Length of the trailer 3 meters. Convert to centimeters that's 300 centimeters. Multiply by 100. Length of the cement block 30 centimeters. So what is the number of blocks can be stored along length? 300 divided by 30. You get 10. Breadth of the trailer, 2 meters. That means 200 centimeters. Breadth of the cement block, 20 centimeters. Now you can find out number of blocks can be stored along breadth. 200. 2 meters means 200 divided by 20. You get 10. Then height of the trailer. Height of the trailer is 1 meter. And what's the height of the brick? 10 centimeters. 1 meter. This is 10 centimeters. So how many blocks along height? 100 is 1 meter divided by 10. You get 10 blocks. So what's the total number of blocks? 10, 10 and here 10. So 
you can store thousand blocks cement blocks in the trail now we'll see how we can round the numbers to the nearest whole number we need this because when the question says estimate a number you don't need to write the value exactly so you can estimate it by rounding values so we'll practice that 10.8 here look at the next digit when you're rounding if it's more than 5 you can add 1 so if the decimal value is 0.5 or more you can add 1 to the whole number this is more that means add 1 here this is 5 that means add 1 here 3 we are not adding 1 so 9 what about here more than 5 that means add 1 22 here 4 is less than so we don't add it 14.5 the nearest whole number we need to add 1 point 0.9 more than point 0.5 add 1 less than point 0.5 so no need to add here you have to add 1 because that's point 0.6 more than point 0.5 here no need to add you can write as it is look at this one estimate the volume of the cuboid that means you don't need the exact value so we can round all the values length is 10.4 so this number to the nearest whole number that's 10 no need to add one breadth 4.8 more than 0.5 so add one so that's five 3.9 is the height you need to add 1 that's 4. Now we can estimate the volume that's a approximate value 10 is the length 5 is the width or breadth and height is 4. 5 times 4 20 20 times 10 you get 200 cubic centimeters is the volume of this cuboid. Estimate the volume of the cuboid with length 12.5, breadth 9.9 .9 and height 5.3. So we can round it first. Length 12.5 means this is 13. 9.9 .9 means add 1. 10. 5.3 means Five. We don't add. So what's the volume? 13 times 10 times 5. So 13 times 10, 130 times 5. Put 0, multiply by 5. 5 times 3, 15, 1 remaining. 5 times 1, 5 plus 1, 6. 650 cubic centimeters is the volume. A cuboid shaped container has length 12 meters, breadth 4 meters and height 6 meters. How many cubes of length 2 meters can be stored in this container? So we can again do like before. Along the length how many cubes we can fit? Along the breadth and along the height. Length of the container 12 meters. We can write in centimeters. Thousand. You don't need because the other one also in meters. So we can keep in meters. Length of the cube. Two meters. So number of cubes can be stored along length. Twelve divided by two. That's six. Breadth of the container. 4 meters. Breadth of the cube is same. 2 meters. So number of cubes can be stored along breadth. 4 divided by 2. That's 2. Now we'll take the height. What's the height of the container? 
six meters. Height of the cube, that's two meters. How many cubes along the height? Six divided by two, that's three. So what's the total number of cubes? We found along length, that's six. Along breadth, two. Six, two. And along height, that's three. So when you multiply, you get the total number of cubes that we can fit into the container. Three times two, six. Six times six, 36 cubes we can fit. Look at this question. Find the volume of the cuboid. When three cubes with side length 120 meters connected together. So when you connect three cubes, here think about we are connecting this way. Three cubes. So one length is 120. So 120, 120. So this is like this. Now, length is what? New length. 120, 120, 120. So 120 times 3. 0, 6, 3. 360 meters is the new length. What's the breadth? Breadth means this one. So that's same as 1 cube length. Just 120. What's the height? Height is like the same as one height. So 120. Breadth is that height. 120 is also height. Now what's the volume? New length is 360. Breadth is 120. Height is 120. So 1, 2, 3 zeros. And we have to multiply. 12 times 12, 144. Multiply by 36. Because 12 times 12, 144 into 36. Now we'll multiply. 144 multiplied by 36, 30 and 6, 3 times 4, 12, 3 times 4, 12 plus 1, 30, 1 remaining, 3 times 1, 3 plus 1, 4, 6 times 4, 24, 2 remaining, 6 times 4, 24 plus 2, 26 and 6 times 1, 6 plus 2, so you get 5184. So 5184 and three zeros. What's the unit? This is cubic meters. So how you read this value? 5184,000 cubic meters are there. Now we look at the exercises in your textbook. Exercise 19.1. Find the volume of each of the solid objects in the given figure by counting the number of small cubes each object contains. Consider the volume of a small cube to be one cubic unit. So you are asked to find the volume. So we'll, we can count. So a long length. That's two. Width or breadth, that's two. What about height? Height is just one. Length into width into height. Two times two, four. So four cubic units. We can write cubic units. This one, one is one centimeter. One, two, three, four. Four along length. One, two. Two, three, four. 
two a long breath and one two three three a long height four times two eight eight times three twenty four cubic units this one one two th three four breadth one two three and height one two three four times three twelve twelve times three thirty six cubic units this one length one two three four five a long breadth, that's two. A long height, one, two, three, four. Four times two, eight. Eight times four, forty. Cubic units. This one. One, two, three. A long breadth, that's two. Height is one. Three times two, six. Six cubic units. Exercise 19.2. Find the volume of each of the following solids objects in cubic centimeters. Consider the volume of small cube to be one cubic centimeter. So one cubic centimeter. So we, we can do the same thing. One, two, three. One, two, three, a long breath. And height also, one, two, three. Three times three, nine, nine times three, 27 cubic centimeters now. This one, cuboid, one, two, three. This way, two. And height, that's two. 3 times 2, 6, 6 times 2, 12 cubic centimeters is the volume. Cuboid again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A long length, that's 5. A long breadth, that's 3. And a long height, that's 2. 3 times 2, 6, 6 times 5, 30 cubic centimeters. This one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. That's a cube. Four into four into four. Four times four, sixteen. Sixteen times four, sixty-four. Cubic centimeters is the volume of that cube. Example number one, find the volume of the cuboid in the figure. So, what's the volume? You can use the formula length into breadth into height. Six into three into two. Three times two, six, six times six, thirty-six cubic centimeters. Example number two, find the volume of the cube in the figure. Volume of the cube, length into length into length. That means three into three into three. Three times three, nine. Nine times three, twenty-seven cubic centimeters. Exercise 19.3. The following figure depicts two cuboids that have been formed using 12 cubes of volume 1 cubic centimeter each. Find the volume of each cuboid. First one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12. So 
over 12 is the length. Width is just 1. And height is just 1. So, yes. 12 cubic centimeters. If you take this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Breadth is 2 now. Height is 1. 6 times 2, 12. 12 cubic centimeters. Find the length, breadth and height of each cuboid. So what's the length? In this one length is 12. Breadth is And height is 1. In this figure, length is 6. Breadth is 2. And height is 1. So, in this, you get the same volume. Now we'll take another one. Write the length, breadth and height of another cuboid of volume 12. So we need to get 12 by multiplying different numbers. We'll take 4, 3, 1. That's also 12. So that means, so 4 length, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 like this and this way, 3, 1, 2, 3 and height 1. One, two, three, four, four, three, and height 1. So this is the cuboid you are getting. So 4 this way and 3 breadth and 1 height. So you can write length becomes 4 centimeters, breadth becomes 3 centimeters and the height becomes 1 centimeter. So you get 12 cubic centimeters as the volume. So previous one 6 2 1 and now 4 3 1. Calculate the volume of each of the following solids. So this is a cuboid. All in centimeters. So length, breadth and height. Let's multiply. 5 times 4 20, 20 times 10 200 cubic centimeters. This is a cube. Volume is length into length into length. 2 into 2 into 2. 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. This is in cubic centimeters. Another cube. So what's the volume? Length into length into length. You get 27 cubic centimeters. This is another cube. 4 into 4 into 4. 4 times 4, 16. 16 times 4, 64 cubic centimeters. This is a cuboid. So what's the volume? Length 3, breadth 2, and height 5. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 5 30 cubic centimeters. What is this? Volume of this cuboid. We can take this is the base. Length, breadth and height. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 5 20 cubic centimeters. 
question number 3 the volume of a cuboid shaped box is 60 cubic centimeters the length and breadth of the box are respectively 6 and 2 calculate its height we know volume is length breadth and height so how can we take height so we can divide by length and breadth so we can use that straight away. 60 is the volume and length is 6 centimeters and breadth is 2. So what's the height? You can divide. 6 times 10, 10 divided by 2, 5. So 5 centimeter is the height of this cuboid. Question number 4. The length, breadth and height of a cuboid shaped container 1.5, 1 meter, 80 centimeters respectively. Find the height of the container in centimeters. Here there's an error here. It should be other way around. Find the length and width in centimeters because height is already given in centimeters. Find the volume of the container in cubic centimeters because the units are different. We have to convert to the same units. So, what's the length in centimeters? 1 meter means 100 centimeters multiplied by 100. What's the breadth? 1.5 meters. We can take other way around as well. Length as 1.5 and breadth is 1 meter. So, Multiplied by 100, 150 centimeters. Now, find the volume. We can take actually length is the bigger one. So, 150, 100 into height. Height is 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 zeros. And multiply by 15 times 8, 8 times 5, 40, 4 remaining, 8 times 1, 8 plus 4, 12. This is in cubic centimeter. So, how you read this value? 1,200,000 cubic centimeters. Question number 5. The figure shows a matchbox of length breadth and height equal to 3 cm, 3 and 1. Find the volume of this matchbox. So, how do you find out the volume? Length, breadth into height. 3 times 3, 9 cubic centimeters. There are three layers, each consisting of 4 match boxes in a package containing 12 of these match boxes. Find the length, breadth and height of this package. There are three layers consisting of four match boxes in a package. So four times three. So four, three. Another layer, four. So this is like four and three. So what they ask? Find the length, breadth, and height of this package. So when you draw the three D figure, yeah, you can draw it like this. So, what's the length? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. This is in centimeters. So, 4 centimeters is the length. Not 4. So, each one is 3. So, what's the total? 4 of that. 
So, what you get? 3 times 4. You get 12. Twelve centimeters. Then, what's the breadth of that? Breadth is this way. So you get here one side. One side is three. So you get same as three centimeters. Now, what's the height now? Height is three layers are there. Each with one centimeter. One, one, one. So, what's the new height? One into three. Three centimeters. Now, show that the volume of this package is 108. So, volume. This package is 12 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3, 9. 9 times 12. 9 times 2, 18. And 9 times 1, 9 plus 1, 10. So 108 cubic centimeters is the volume of this package. Exercise 19.4. The volume of the shaded cuboid portion. In the figure is 16 cubic centimeters. Estimate the volume of the whole cuboid. What can you say about this? How many we can take like that? 1, 2, 3. 3 layers like that. 1, 2, 3. So what's the volume? Each one is 16. So you can say this is an estimate. 3 times 16. 48 cubic centimeter is the volume of the whole thing. Look at the question number 2. The length, breadth and height of a matchbox are 5 centimeter, 3 centimeter and 1 centimeter respectively. Match boxes are packed in a box as shown in the figure. Estimate the volume of the box. So we have to find out the new length, width and height. Now how many boxes along length? We can say 4. So the new length of the box is 5 cm times 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 20 cm. What's the breadth, new breadth of the box? How many we can pack? So a long breadth, three match boxes. So each with three centimeters. So three times three. Nine centimeters is the breadth. What's the new height? Height of the box, how many box layers we can put? One, two, three, four. Four layers are there. Each with one centimeter. That's four centimeters. So, what is the volume of the box? Twenty times nine times. So, 4 times 20, that's 80 times 9. You get 720 cubic centimeters is the volume of the box. So, we completed all theory related to volumes. The volume of a solid is the amount of space it occupies. Arbitrary units can be used to measure volumes. When stating the volume, the units used should also be mentioned. A cube of side length 1 cm is used as the standard unit of the volume. That's cubic centimeters. Cubic meters, m to the power 3. 
are two units that used to measure volumes. The volume of a cuboid is length into breadth into height and volume of a cube is side length into side length into side length. So practice all examples and exercises because you need this unit in future as well.